Hello, I'm from Fact Connected. I want to give you a brief overview of the new product from AudioCodes that allows you to keep your fax machine and eliminate the need for analog phone lines or dedicated analog phone lines connected to it. This new product allows you to connect your fax machine up to your existing fax service provider, such as eFax, EasyLink, Concord Fax, or any other service provider, and not lose any reliability in the process. This gives you the ability to send faxes from your fax machine through your existing online fax account, therefore giving you further value to what you're already paying for. Next, I want to quickly go through a diagram to kind of show you a good overview of how it works. And then we'll talk about more specifically all the pieces involved, such as the ATA itself, the fax ATA, and the connector. Okay, I'm going to quickly diagram out how the solution works to kind of give you a visual for how all the pieces connect together. So first of all, Obviously, we have the fax machine. Um, and obviously, that's the most important part at your premise because that's what you want to keep and use. So, right next to that is going to be the audio codes, fax A2 device. And this is simply the MP202B HTTP. S fax device. That is the fax ATA that we'll show you a little bit later, um, but that's really what the fax machine connects to. Now this simply plugs into the network and connects over the internet to the hosted fax connector at Fax Connected. Um, so here now is the fax connector. And that's the hosted online service that Fax Connected is providing. And the basically the ability for this allows the, a, the ATA itself to connect through the internet using HTTPS, which is going to give a reliable, secure connection. Now, the Fax Connector, it then will connect to your specific service provider. Um, such as eFax, um, MyFax, Concord, Fax, and EasyLink. And it's not just restricted to those. Those are the first ones we are certifying, but it will actually connect to any fax service provider out there. Now, obviously, it's a fax service provider's job to then actually send the fax, and that's where the connection to the PSTN happens. So now if we really go back through it, the fax machine is connected to the fax ATA just with the local analog phone line. It's simply plugged into the network and connects across the internet to the online fax service, the fax connector, which in this case is fax connected. And then fax connected, once it re receives the fax from the fax machine, will forward it to the fax service provider that you use um, that's registered to the ATA and will actually transmit the fax to them and they will send the fax. And then when the fax is done, um, eFax, MyFax, or whoever will send you the notification back and that's how you, the user, will know the status of your fax. And you'll get those typically back in your email as you normally do. So as you can see, it's really a simple so solution. There's just the two pieces are the ATA and the fax connector. And those are the, eight, the pieces that allow the fax machine to connect to your fax service provider. As we showed you with the diagram, there's really two pieces to the solution. There's the fax ATA itself, which is at the customer premise next to the fax machine, and then the fax connector service. So the fax ATA itself is the audio codes MP202B HTTPS, and it's just a simple fax ATA. It's a small box and it simply connects into the network. Um, we'll go through the specifics of how this connects up in a little bit, but I just wanted to kind of give you an overview of what a load looks like. Now we're looking at a close-up of the top of the audio codes fax ATA device. This is specifically the MP202B. They all just say on the top of them MP202. Once we look at the bottom, you'll actually see the specific version that lists the HTTPS version, and that's what we need to look for. So now we'll turn it over and look at the back of it. Okay, now we're looking at the back of the, or, or rather the bottom of the audio codes fax ATA itself. And I just want to pour up point out the specific information that the user will need when they actually register it. First of all, the, 
the model number, which is the CPN number, notice it does show HTTPS fax. This is very important because Audio Codes does make several versions of these. Some that support just SIP 238, and obviously the ones we really want to focus on are the ones marked HTTPS fax. The other Im information will be the serial number and the MAC address. Those will be needed when you go to this site to register the device. Okay, now we're looking at the back, and I'm just going to basically show how it connects up. First of all, the user simply takes the power cord and plugs in the power port, and then they simply just take their RJ45 or the network connection and plug it into the WAN port. And that's simply all the user has to do. And then the final, of course, is taking the fax machine and plugging it into phone number one. Now it's hooked up, and as you We'll show you the front of it, and you can actually see the status lights for that. All right, now we're looking at the actual device itself as a close-up. Basically, we're looking at the front of the MP202B, the HTTPS fax version, of course, and we're just looking at the status lights. And I just kind of want to give you a quick overview of typically what the user would expect. Obviously, there's a power light and the network status and the WAN status. And these typically tell the user that the device is online and functioning. Also, we have the phone line 1 and phone line 2 over here, and those will go green when the fax ATA is offline, or sorry, when the fax machine is offline, and you can actually see a call is being placed or received to the device itself. Okay, now we're going to show you exactly what you need to do in your eFax client to configure your account to work with your fax machine. Um, once you've registered from the Fax Connected site, it would have sent you an email containing the specific instructions and an email address that you need to add. So let's go ahead and do that. We're going to log into eFax right now. So let's go to www.efax.com and then we'll go to my account settings, key in my fax number, and then key in my PIN. Log in. All right, then we just go to our account settings here or update account. And what we're going to do, if you look here, the send email address. Right now it's got your personal email address, meaning that's where you can send faxes from. We're going to add a secondary email address to that. So we click on edit, click on item number two there, and the email address that you would have been supplied in this example was 2690842 at faxconnectit.com. So once we've got in there, we just simply hit update. And now if you look, you've got two email addresses for the send email address, meaning you can send from both of those email addresses. Obviously, the fax ATA will be sending on behalf of th this email address here. All right, once you're done, you're, uh, it's all ready to go. So you can simply close the browser, and it's now done. OK, as you've seen, we've gone through the full solution now, um, showing you the fax ATA, the fax connector service, and how everything kind of can connect together. Just wanted to mention, we were focusing a lot on eFax, but again, this will work with any fax solution out there. eFax, e MyFax, SendFax, Concord Fax, and EasyLink, and any, any other service provider. In addition to that, we also have a connection for the fax connector itself that can be downloaded to an enterprise to give them the ability to install this on their local network to actually connect the fax machine to their fax server itself. Um, and we support WriteFax, Xmedias from Sagem, and also Net Satisfaction from FaxPack. So if you have any questions, we're going to put a URL at the end of this. Please contact us and we'll ask or answer any questions that you might have. Thank you.